everybody, Zach here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use probably one of my favorite tools ever. Um, this is the Roblox Studio Custom Theme Patcher. It may look hard to use, but it's not really like at all. Um, but yeah, no, I, I like this. Uh, great tool. Use it almost all the time. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so first make sure, and by the way, this is probably the most obvious step and the most like already done step out of this whole thing, but basically just make sure your studio is installed. I didn't even have mine installed for this tutorial, so yeah, make sure you do that. All right, so download this. Um, I just downloaded it, but I'll download it again. Uh, let me save it. And then you wanna open it up with something. I'm using 7-Zip just cause it's open source nice drag it into whatever and uh it's real simple to use even if it looks hard to use basically you open it up and then you open up another file explorer tab and you type in local app data slash roblox basically put in this go to versions um click on it until you find the one with a ton of dll's saying aps dot uh, not APS, <laughs> API-MS, and once you find the one that has Roblox Studio in it, what you want to do is you want to drag Roblox Studio Beta into here, and then it will say load a DXE, press enter, uh, and then it will do this little thing. Alright, so once it's done, it says press any key to end, you just press enter. Now you have Roblox Studio patch, but you can't launch it just yet because of the fact that you don't have two things. What you first need to do is you need to copy your little studio patch and paste it in here. And then uh, what you need, I don't, okay, there's the icons. And then you need a res uh, the features folder, not the resources, just the features. So once you have the features folder, paste it in here. Um, it's from this folder with the studio patcher and you can find it wherever I put it here. Now, in your features folder, you'll have a resources folder and then a themes folder. And I've already actually modded the dark theme, so let me get that for you. But here is my dark theme. I have it saved in a JSON file. And I will just paste this bad boy in here, replace file, and now your studio is themed. Now, of course, you can't launch the actual studio. You need to launch the patch studio. But once you launch it, you should see immediately, it might not be in boot, I don't really know. Yep, there you go. So, this is the purple Dracula. Well, not really Dracula, but it's just a purple theme I made. I like it. It goes with some of my uh, places like just Jinx and the whole studio. Well, not the whole studio, but most of your whole studio is patched. Of course, the toolbox won't be and a few other things won't be, but almost everything will be. Like, say I want to insert an object. It's patched there. Say I want to open up a script like this. This is patched and you can see it has like, of course, I don't think the custom syntax will load for you if you don't have um, this one plugin I have. Let's see, where is it? If you don't have editor themes and you don't have specifically my theme, then you won't get this um, patch editor. But uh, yeah, anyways, everything's patched. You're gonna need to like patch this part yourself, but that's easy to do. But yeah, that's a really simple tutorial on how to use one of my favorite tools, Studio Patcher. Um, if you don't know how to edit this JSON file, all you have to do is learn JSON. It, I don't even know why I say learn it. Because the thing is, all you're doing in here is you're getting here and you're checking all your things and then you're just changing it to different colors. And these little values uh, are colors and the main way I'll do them is what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of a color and then I'll open up and paint that net. And then I will do this, get this little tool, click it, and then go to more, and you can see this is the hex. Now, um, I'll copy this, and then I will command, uh, control F, command F, whatever you use, and then I can search it up, and it'll show me what color that is. And then say I wanna change that to green, I can set this to green, you know, something like that, then copy this hex, and boom, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, um, of course, I'm not gonna change it because I already have it set. And remember, you do need to not be editing your, uh, you need to make sure you're editing the resources in your Roblox Studio, and not, okay, what the hell, anyways. But basically, it just, yeah, um, this is Studio Patch. There's not a lot of documentation, so I thought I'd make a very quick, very easy video. Um, 
I probably am going to make another video at some point in time showing more about this because this is kind of the worst video ever, but um, we're going to ignore that. But yeah, um, why did I drag the deal? Anyways, but yeah, this had a theme your studio. Give it probably one of my favorite looks. Um, I, yeah, I, I just like this kind of look, you know. But yeah, see ya.